here in the third edition of the World's Corporate Champions Cup and there's a lot of games that are already passed and I have another member from another country. What's your name and what's your country? Uh, Raed from Saudi Arabia, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We are presenting uh, SAB as a Saudi British bank. How do you feel to be here right now in Dubai representing your country? Actually, we are here in a second uh, country which is uh, United Arab Emirates and we feeling that we are in our country, Saudi Arabia. Uh, we hope that inshallah we will succeed in this uh, championship and uh, if we win, uh, we celebrate inshallah in UAE. We are expecting to be in the uh, final and uh, Saudi will win her, inshallah for this uh, championship. Welcome back. This game between Saudi Saab and Switzerland. We're here at the World Copa Championship Cup brought to you by FIFCO. The La, Li La Liga Academy in by Sport City right next to the ICC Cricket Academy. Lot of hustle bustle today. You can have a look. Kids playing in the background. It's hot, it's humid. But these players have been on the top of their game. We've had amazing matches so far. And the action will continue. This time it's Saudi going from left to right. On the field at the moment. Number 11, Sultan, their goalkeeper. Dahrawi, number seven, Muhammad Al Julufi. Beg your pardon, the goalkeeper is Muhammad. Just slowly taking their time, trying to build an attack from the back. Very quick passing, through ball, chipped in the air, and very close. Almost the perfect start for Saudi. Ammar, number eight. Missing that open goal post. And that would have been a dream start for Saudi against the Switzerland side. First minute of the game. Very close. There is a free ball. And again, good goalkeeping and good defending. Number 8. Number 18 for Switzerland. Aliun Making that save. That was very close. Number seven, Muhammad Al Julufi coming in for that cross. I'm missing the ball completely. And Saudi is very unlucky to be goalless at the moment. It could have easily been 1 0 up. This time, Switzerland starting from the back, taking their time, surveying the field. Number 10, Hassan. Number four, that Mehdi almost getting in a good tackle there. Another shot, and this time, well deserved goal there for Saudi. First goal for Ammar. He went very close in the first minute, but this time, not missing the mark. Up against the Swiss. Switzerland Vitol 0, Saab 1. And now Switzerland in their red and white iconic shirt going from right to left with all the work to do. Again, quick pass here. Number 7 there, Pierre. Trying again from the back there. Ammar went very close in the first minute and then scoring that crucial goal. Now Saudi 1-0 up in the first two and a half minutes of the game. Again, they're very patient. Take their time. Number seven, Muhammad Al Jalufi, their playmaker, right in the middle of the action. They're frustrating the Swiss. You can see they're already huffing and puffing the midfielders. They're letting them play their little three-man, one-touch game. You see this happen a lot in the training field. Just conserving their energy. 
not putting too much pressure the Swiss midfielders and defenders at the moment. Number seven, Pierre. Just watching that ball. Very interesting tactics here by Saudi. Just keeping the ball in their half. And a foul call, but not given. Switzerland finally get the ball back. Try to make. Mohammed Al Jalufi again gets the ball, intercepts it. A quick pass. Trying to find the goal scorer, Ammar, but missing the mark. Ball goes out for a free kick. The goalkeeper, number one, Andrew, with a cap on his head. We've seen that a lot in the Premiership with the sun beating down at the goalkeeper. It's very difficult to spot the ball. Inter interesting choice of color, though. Green cap. The referee waves play on and Andrew has done extremely well to block that ball. The Saudi players protesting. They had a man down. The referee waved play on and Switzerland were in their right to continue. Very close. Now the referee has given a yellow card to number four Mahdi. Well the linesman had waved play on, but the main referee has now pulled the ball back, given a yellow card. Very interesting decision there. Mahdi again on the ball now. He's given the ball away. Number 11, Sultan for Saudi, the goalkeeper. Could have easily blundered there, but kept his composure. Again, starting from the back, we see that a lot in this game. The ball going back. It's not a defensive move. It very much be an attacking move sometimes. Gives the midfielder a lot of space to target their forwards. Very good ball control there. The goalkeeper rushes out and kicks the ball away. That could have been extremely close. Ball going out for a free kick now. Switzerland in the Saudi half. They've not tested the goalkeeper so far. Number one, Mohammed has not had a lot to do. Number nine for Switzerland. Ball going out again. The pace of the game just mellowing down a little bit. Number one, Mohammed again with the ball. The goalkeeper and the two defenders in the back like to keep the ball with them for as long as possible before they can find a slot. Number seven, Al Jalufi again. That he's the playmaker, he decides the way the game progresses, and there he is exactly on cue, trying to go one on one with the defender. Good defending there by Mahdi, running with the ball on the right wing, giving the ball away now. Jalufi again, and Andrew, the goalkeeper, does really well. So, Saudi saw putting a lot of pressure on the switch side. A corner now for Saudi Saab. Quickly taken. The ball with Jalufi. He's been all over the place. Takes his shot and misses the target completely. Goes over. Again, Saudi Saab putting a lot of pressure on the Switzerland side. Alioun right at the back. Number 10, Ehsan. Aliyun again, Ehsan. Back to Andrew. Back to Ehsan. Saudi Saab putting pressure on the defenders. 
Ball going back. Now number three, Hatam. And he's given the ball away. Saudi on the counter attack. This is a one-on-one -on -one situation. Very, very close. Number nine, Badr giving the ball to the striker instead of trying for the goal. And unfortunately, the ball is kicked away from the target. Number six, Faisal missing it completely. Again, number nine, Badr with the ball. And that's a foul call. Good refereeing from the linesman. Badr has just walked into the field and is making an instant impact very quick on the ball. The referee giving him the instructions on how he wants him to proceed. Some eye contact between Badr and the forward. Again, interesting tactics here. Saudi taking the ball all the way back to the goalkeeper. Now, number 18, Abdul Aziz Al Qahtani on the left wing. Interesting. They're calling for a foul. That was a big tackle. We'll have to see what was the referee's decision there. Yes, he's given a free kick. Strong, hard tackle on Abdul Aziz Qahtani. And now, again, Badr with the ball. Takes a direct kick. The goalkeeper has fumbled. And Saudi Saab have gone 2-1, two, two goals up. And Aziz Al Qahtani, he had taken that foul, gotten the free kick, and now scores the second goal. So Saudi Saab very much on top of this game in the first 10 minutes. Andrew again with the ball, trying to start something. Another mistake here. But the ball goes to the right wing. Only four people on the field covering this area. The passing has to be pinpoint. Trying a chip there. The goalkeeper was off his line. But he was very quick to respond there. So again, Saudi on the attack from the left wing this time. Badr, Kahtani, both of them been very good since they've come on the field number five right at the back Hassan from what I can from what I can see almost all the players on the pitch are now new players from the four that started the game for Saudi Saab so fresh legs the referee says that's a bit of a dive. Get up quickly. Again, off the line, the goalkeeper. A chip attempted. But he still keeps a clean sheet. Number five. Hassan. Intimidating figure in the field. There's a big mistake from Badr. A shot taken there by number 19, Christoph. But he's not even tested a goalkeeper. That's a poor miss. Switzerland looking to come back into this game. But so far, Mohammed, the goalkeeper, keeping a clean sheet. And their finishing has not helped them. But they're trying to do something spectacular, giving the ball away. Very lucky not to concede here, Saudi. Again, their passing has been really good. Badr, since he's come on the field, live wire, dynamic in the midfield and forward. And as we say that, very good ball control there by number six, Faisal. Well, he eventually gives the ball away and he's very frustrated with his players. He was looking for some support. And the ball goes back. Familiar way. For Saudi to work this game. This time Badr now on the left wing. Quick changes in formation as well. Now we see Faisal. 
who's come back to his familiar left back position. Hassan and Faisal have been very solid in the back. The one mistake coming from Badr, but Switzerland not able to capitalize. And another mistake almost. The pass not weighted as well as the keeper Mohammed wanted it to. Could have easily given the ball away to Hassan from Switzerland. Silvio Hassan at the back for Switzerland, putting pressure on the Saudi team. Hassan has come forward. Al Qahtani to Hassan. And Badr was almost there. Very good football and good tactics. They start from the back again. Quick on the break. Shot taken. The goalkeeper saves it, but the ball is back in play. Kahtani with the ball now. Gives the ball now to Faisal. Faisal to Kahtani again. And a great interception there by Hassan from Switzerland. Number six takes a shot. Silvio. The ball hits the defender and goes out for a goal kick. <coughs> Quick substitution taking place now. Number 11, Sultan for Hassan. Quick corner taken, giving the ball away. Poor from Switzerland. And the referee calls for the half-time whistle. So, goal mark to goal mark action in the first half. Saudi Saab have done well to keep their two-goal cushion. Switzerland could have easily been one goal to the good. We come back after the break for the second half. Well, welcome back to the second half. We're live on Sportseye, the broadcast partner for the World Corporate Champions Cup. Brought to you by FIFCO. The event partner, Watch Mojo. And Switzerland, Vitol versus Saudi Saab. The score, two goals for the Saudi Saab team. Nil for Switzerland as they start again, this time from left to right. And immediately give the ball away to the Saudi team. Who in their familiar fashion will now take their time. Keep the ball in their half. And start again. Number 8, Ammar. Ammar, very good football there. One on one with the goalkeeper. He's keep, kept the ball in the play. And now Andrew saving that ball from going into the back of the net. Number 11, Sultan now with the ball. Ball going back to the goalkeeper. Sultan Faisal, number 6. With the ball now, Sultan number 11. <laughs> and again, trying that quick pass there. Number 19, Gahrawi. Coming into the play. And Saudi have started this half very well. They were a bit slow in the first half. Take their time to play into their tactics. Very interesting approach in the second half now from Saudi. They've given the ball away. Switzerland, can they make something of it? Starting from the back now. Number four, Mahdi. He's been the key player for them. They've got the ball. Aliun from the middle coming in. And again gives the ball away. Now back to the Saudi players. Number six, Faisal with the ball. Number eight, Ammar keeps the ball in play for Saudi. And now the ball back to Gahrawi. 
back to the goalkeeper Muhammad. Number 11 on the right, Sultan. Number 8 on the left, Ammar. Intimidating figure of Ammar as a defender. Muhammad, the goalkeeper, now with the ball again, <coughs> keeping an eye on the proceedings. And now, very familiar approach this from the Saudi team. They just keep the ball in their half, trying to frustrate the Swiss defenders and midfielders before they can find an opening, whether through a pinpoint pass or a chip. There we have it on the break now. Number seven, quick pass there. That's number 10. And again, a good, good save there with his legs this time. Closing in the gap. That was a tight angle, but Andrew has done really well to save that shot from Bamasak of Saudi, number 10. He's into the play as well. Did not feature in the first half, but now has done extremely well hit the ball from the outside of his boot but the goalkeeper Andrew for Switzerland ensuring there's no more damage still Switzerland two goals up with 11 minutes left to play now we're into the last quarter of the game good defending there by Saudi now the counter-attack starts from the middle number seven Muhammad Al Julufi and giving the ball away this time Mahdi now with the ball number four trying to find the forward number 19 Christoph but unable to do so and Saudi start again from the back it's been very good game and very good tactics from Saudi as well they've been very composed at the back from what I can remember there was just one opportunity number 10 now for Saudi Bamasak with the ball asking for a foul again good defending there by Mahdi and number 11 Osama for Switzerland <coughs> ball goes out for a free kick Mahdi swaps Pierre number 7 comes in <coughs> and number 5 Ritha coming in as well looking for a quick pass goes back to Andrew the goalkeeper <coughs> trying to find Pierre at that time goes out for a free kick you can see even the players asking to be substituted it's really hot number nine Badr comes in the live wire and makes an instant impact takes the ball away very good ball control there by number 10 Bamasa keeping the ball on his feet again Saudi going back now Badr switches to the right Number 11, Sultan now on the left. Al Jalufi, the playmaker from the middle, controlling the game. Nine more minutes. Nine more minutes for the Saudi Sam team to hang on and get the three points. And Switzerland have to take the ball away, get, make an impact. They've not had a lot of possession today in this game. All the possessions with the Saudi team. Two goals to the good Saudi Saab. Badr from the right. Bamasak from the left. Very good pass. And again a good save. Almost through his legs. But Andrew knew where the ball was. And Switzerland very lucky to be just two goals down so far. Badr, number nine. Badr been absolutely fantastic on the right hand side of the pitch. For the Saudi Saab team. Switzerland now must be feeling the heat. It's 11.30 in the morning. It's the peak heat time. And even though this is just a small pitch with five players on it, it takes a lot out of you. High action, high paced game this one. We're here at La Liga Academy for the World Championship, Corporate Championship being held here in Sports City in Dubai. Again, very good football there. Good passing, good connection between the two. Number 
10 Bamasak and number 9 Badr. Al Jalufi takes a shot, hits the inside of the crossbar. Very unlucky. He has deserved a goal, Muhammad Al Jalufi. He has played extremely well. Again, the ball now with Pierre takes a weak looking shot. The goalkeeper makes a save. Seven minutes left now on the clock. Saudi Saab to Switzerland. Vitol zero. They can still stage a comeback here. Seven minutes is a long time in this game. Just have to score one goal to get that momentum back. The ball with the goalkeeper now, Mohammed, number one. So far, keeping a clean sheet. Bamasa, he's been in the, at the second half and has been the creative force behind this Saudi attack again and again. Badr, on the other hand, very quick on the ball, very quick off the ball as well. Gets into position very quickly, takes a shot and is blocked. Very good defending there. That tackle a bit out of frustration. Number five, Riza taking the ball off him. And then out of retaliation, Badr with the quick tackle. He's been taken off, trying to keep him calm. Getting a quick substitution now. Al Jalufi. And he has put the ball in the back. Kahtani, who comes in for Badr, is in the right place at the right time, outside boot, taps it in, and Saudi Saab now have a three-goal cushion. The game must be very much done and dusted here with five minutes left on the clock. Saudi Vitol has a lot to do to come back into this game. Again, give the ball away. Bamasak chasing the ball. Now with the goalkeeper, Hassan has walked into the side as well. Number five, the intimidating figure of Hassan on the left wing. Bamasak, very good on each side of the wing. He's played on both right and the left side. Takes a shot there, Hassan. Now Saudi, very familiar again. Going back. Bamasak with the header almost getting that fourth goal. Very good from Saudi. A good ploy there. A cross coming in from the right. The forward Abdul Aziz Al Kahtani was there but just couldn't get his head wrapped around the ball. Switzerland making some changes as well. Number five, Ridda coming in. Number 10, Ehsan as well. And now, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He looks frustrated. Gahrawi had an opportunity to score a goal for his team. But Andrew, the goalkeeper, has done really well. A strong tackle there. Strong tackle on number 5, Rida. From number 5, Hassan. The battle of the fives on the left side of the field. Saudi Saab now again, their familiar approach, keeping the ball at the back for as long as possible, frustrating the Swiss players on the pitch. You can see Pierre and that's what they do. Once they do that, they get those gaps, they get that break. Number 19, Gahrawi, a bit slow. He has been a little bit poor since he's come on the field, had two very good opportunities. But unfortunately, not able to control the ball as well as his colleagues Badr and Abdul Aziz Al Kahtani have done. The ball goes out for a free kick. Abdul Aziz Kahtani, number 18. He's been brilliant, scores, scored a goal, set up one as well. Goalkeeper Muhammad, he'll want to keep a clean sheet. Very rare in this game. 
keeping clean sheets, not conceding a goal. Three minutes left now on the clock. Saudi running time down. All the pressure. Now on Switzerland, we're told to take the ball off the Saudi players and try to score a goal. Very good football here again. Very good passing between the two. Good ball control. And just the finishing, not good enough. That was brilliant football there by Faisal. Number six takes the ball past two defenders. But hits the goalkeeper, Andrew, who's done really well considering the fact that they've only scored three goals. Saudi could have easily been five or six up if it was not for the, for the keeping skills of Andrew. Throws the ball out now. Two minutes left on the clock. Saudi trying to do, trying to run down the clock, waste some time. Switzerland, on the other hand, have all the work to do. Radha is back in, tries a chip, but the goalkeeper, number one, Mohammed, there is clutching on his leg. Might be a bit of dehydration. He, they have not changed the goalkeeper in this game. Over three goals up, they could do that don't want your goalkeeper injured as this tournament goes on there are still a lot of games to come today on both field a and field b you can watch them live on the sports eye youtube channel and their facebook page as well we're coming from the la liga academies for the world corporate champions cup rida now on the left wing one minute left to play three goals to the good saudi saab this game looks very much down and dusted and that's a consolation goal if there ever was one. Ali Oon, he's been playing really well. Eight. Full stretch, gets his hand, but the ball goes into the back of the net. 3-1 now, Saudi Vitol get a consolation goal. 50 seconds left on the clock. Can this be a comeback? Saudi will want to keep the ball now not give possession away they were a bit poor for that call giving the possession away back heel attempted saudi giving the ball away with the counter attack rida very poor in the last half trying the spectacular from that angle it's almost impossible to get a left footed shot into that goal post very small goal posts here for the football games Okay, look, he looks exhausted there, Radha. Quick substitution now. Kathani goes out. Badr comes in. Just for the last six seconds of the game. We're counting down the clock. The next time the ball goes out of play, the referee will blow his whistle. And Badr, even though the game is done and dusted, He's the live wire, wants to get his name on the score sheet if he can. Good ball control. But there are defenders on the way. Hatam now from the outside, unable to get to that ball and goes out for a free kick. And with that, that's the end of the game. Saudi Saab 3, Switzerland Vitol 1. Saudi Saab have taken the 3 points. They were definitely the better side. Could have easily been 5 or 6 goals up if it wasn't for Andrew, the goalkeeper. But in the end, Saudi Saab have done really well. There we have it, the end of the game. We'll be back after a short break for the next match on field A. Stay tuned.